Question number four, it talks about how uh, Jim Braddock's wife, or Jim Braddock needed his wife's support when he was uh, going into the fight, and how he didn't have it at the beginning, and when she showed up right before the fight, uh, he like completely changed his mind, he was got motivated to uh, go out there and give it his all and end up winning. Uh, so I wanna, what I want to talk about is like hope. My hope for this season is that you guys become a unit, you guys become a family, and from what seen what I've seen so far in these past couple of days, it's it's starting. It's starting to grow and it's looking pretty good. And I'm excited about what you guys can be. And I hope you guys are excited about what you guys can be. And I'm just hoping for the best for you guys. And I'm really glad that I'm here. I'm glad that the coaches are allowing me to help out this year. And uh, I just really hope that after this, you guys really take it to the heart that you guys got to become one. You guys got to get it in sync, and you guys got to go out there and win some games and get some tradition back at Eastern Hancock. So that's all I got. To kind of build off that, uh, I'm going to talk about tradition. Um, we always kind of talk a little bit about the old days and whatnot, and uh, <coughs> really what does it mean? I don't know if you guys know a lot about all these like, Eastern Hancock things. I know a couple of your dads have played, obviously, these guys. Uh, great athletes in high school. Great, great things they've done in the past. But uh, I think we all really need to take time and sit down. Uh, whenever you want to, and, and just look at what Eastern Hancock football and what Eastern Hancock athletics uh, is all about. We brought a lot of championships to Eastern Hancock, uh, but also brought a lot of disappointments. And uh, I'm sure if you talk to any of those people on any of those teams, you're going to you're gonna get good stories out of people who are champions, and you're going to get pretty much, you know, it's whatever, out of people who are losers. And uh, I don't mean losers in the drivers or men, it's just big loss. But uh, <clears throat> what I'm getting at is uh, pride your school. Pride yourself, pride your tradition, pride the name on the front of the jersey, pride the people who have worn that jersey before you, and and just knowing where you came from, an athletic standpoint, also uh, with your family, knowing where you came from that way, your lineage, and then and knowing where you came from athletically. Okay, now I'm gonna combine both of those and basically build into what I believe is an Eastern Hancock Royal. And, and what this program builds, you know, each player to be, each young man, when they go through the program, they said pride, tradition, hope, all that good stuff. That, you know, that, that helps build a man through this process. But the big thing for me is, is to not focus on the past. We gotta, Royals are leaders. <coughs> and right now, that's my biggest concern, is that we gotta have the leadership. That's what makes this team go. We're tough kids, and those tough kids become great leaders. There's so much pride in being a leader, not necessarily accomplishing what you can accomplish, but what you can accomplish with the men around you and what you can get them to do for you. It's, you know, it's the thought of when you know someone's following you, you, you know, someone's got your back. It, there's no greater feeling in the world. It doesn't matter what you can do on your own. That is a royal. They always lead, not just in football, but in life. So it goes on from here and then, you know, college and your personal life, and when you know these guys are fathers, they lead, the whole family follows, because that's what this program does, and they build people, and they make them great young men, and that's what we need is leadership. That's what'll do it for us this year. I know if Coach Schultz was here, that's his biggest thing, we sit around and talk about it for hours and hours and hours, is that we just want leaders. And all it takes is one guy, and everybody starts to follow. That's all we need, and I think that is everything that a royal epitomizes, is just, He's never afraid. He'll be the first one to stand up. Which one of you is going to be?